Posey, how old are you? Uh, 34. Are you originally from Phoenix? I'm from Tucson. What brings you all the way out here? I came down here because I have vacation ticket. Just to come to see Phoenix. So you were just out here visiting and you got stuck or what? No, I didn't get stuck. I still I got to get my um uh, order my social security card uh, and take it to CBI and get a new card and my money's on my card today. Are you homeless right now? Uh, right now, yeah. Uh, everything okay here? Yeah, we're doing an interview. How long have you been homeless on the streets for? Uh, well, I haven't been homeless in the streets because I had social security card, had an apartment off and on. Um. I just saying that I could get an apartment with my social security um, check and have an apartment. So you have an apartment out here? No, I used to have one. But you lost your apartment? Yeah, I lost it. Um, it's been um, since 2009. And you've been on the streets ever I mean, since then? 2020, yeah. What do you do out here to survive? Uh, I just need, I just need, I just need someone to help me, take me to get a money order, to get a, a studio, find a studio. Yeah. And it's 625, somewhere on the north side. And, um, and then I need someone to, um, help me, um, take it out my card. To get what, your social? Yep. Your ID and all that stuff? Yeah, I got my ID. It came over there to the CBI this week. At CBI? Uh, at CBI. It's on Madison 12th Street. Um, I get my money from the Social Security card that comes on the card. But I just lost it. So I already got the money on there. So I waited until the third. So it was on there since yesterday. I just have to use someone's phone to automatic order the card to um, CBI um, um, mailbox. Because they said that we could use their um, mailbox. All right, I have to call right now when we're done. Okay, thank you. Um, where do you sleep at night? Do you have a camping tent? Yeah, I stay at CPI inside. Why are you not right there right now? Oh, I just came over here just to... Last night I was here, so I, I kind of like just not ready to go yet. Because I want to order my card. So you stayed out here last night? Mm-hmm. Where at? Um, on, uh, across the street at the good store. Right here where the alley's at? Yeah, but in front of the thrift store. Okay. Do you have any family in Phoenix? I, I, yeah, I have. I think so, but I don't know where they're at. Is it dangerous out here at night? Yes. Is it? Have you been through anything personally? No. What, what's one of the worst experiences you've been through out here being homeless? Um, well, I don't have nowhere, to, no one to talk to. They ask a lot of questions. They tell you to leave. Um, they say we don't care if you don't have drugs. You still gotta leave. So just people in general are rude out here? Yeah. What about the cops? How do they treat you? They, they just come and check us our names and they'll leave. Yeah. Are you out here on, on any substances? Do you mess with the blues and G? No. No? No. No blues at all? No. Uh, you look kind of tired. Yeah. Are you tired right now? Yeah, it's just the sun. Have you ate at all today? Not yet. Not yet? But I drink a tea and I drink water. In a water? Yeah. My, my money will come on there in two days. Yeah. I could probably get you something too. Okay. Um, do you have family in Tucson? Yeah, I do. Who's out there in Tucson? My dad. What's my your dad's name? Leroy Hickman. And does he know that you're out here right now? No. No? No. You don't keep in contact with your dad? No. I don't know his number. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have seven brothers and I have four 
I have um, four sisters. What, what about them? Do they know what you're going through right now? No. No? No. You don't let them know? No. Why, why is that? Because I kind of went by myself, you know? Do you have any kids? I have one. One kid? Yeah, I have a 19-year-old. A 19-year-old? And where, where does he stay at? He stays at my aunt's. In Tucson? Yeah. And he doesn't know about your situation either? Uh, no. He knows I'm homeless, but I was at the shelter and CBI in um, Tucson, so if he went over there, he knows I'm not there. He knows I'm somewhere else. Do you need a ride back to CBI? Yeah. 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 Did you stay at the one in downtown or what? Yeah, I'll probably just stay here because you have to have tents down there to stay there in the nighttime outside. What do you need right now? Just about $15 to go last week till tomorrow and the next day. So you can give me at least a 99 cent orange, that cheap tea, that two piece sign. It's good. <laughs> And a phone call so I could get my card in two days. Okay. So I could do that for you. Okay, thank you. I'll do the phone call for you and I'll give you some money. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Are you okay if I use this on um, my YouTube channel and my social media? Yes, please. And if somebody wants to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations, do you have any contact information like an email or something like that where someone can reach you? No, I don't. But when I get a phone, when I get my money, I'm going to get a phone. I could put that on the YouTube. You could call that phone. So you don't have no email at all? No. You haven't went and go try to get one of those Obama phones, the free ones? The Obama ones? Yeah, but I lost that one. I, I keep losing them. Yeah. It's hard to keep your stuff out here, huh? <clears throat> All right, man. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Appreciate it. Okay.